C++20 also includes many quality of life updates. Smaller improvements that make your daily coding a bit smoother. Let's go through a quick list of the ones you will find most useful. First up is Stud format. For a long time we had to choose. Do we use printf, which is concise but dangerous, or IOS streams, which are safe but incredibly messy to read. Stud format finally gives us the best of both worlds. It combines type safety with a clean, stylish syntax using curly braces. It is faster than IOS streams, type safe and much easier to read. You can even put formatting rules right inside the curly braces. Things like rounding numbers or aligning text happen right there. So you don't need those messy old comments anymore, like the dreaded stud set precision. Next up is the spaceship operator, named because its symbol looks like a UFO. Before C++20, if you wanted to compare two objects, you had to manually write six separate functions. One for less than, one for equals, one for greater than, and so on. It was a massive amount of repetitive code for something so simple. Now you write a single line using the spaceship operator and set it to default. This tells the compiler to look at your class members from top to bottom and generate all six comparison checks for you. While you can write custom logic if you really need to, this default behavior works for almost every standard class. Third, we have designated initializers. This makes initializing simple objects much more readable. In the past, initializing a struct meant passing a list of mystery numbers and values. You had to memorize what each position meant. Now you can tag each value with its name. This makes the code instantly readable. You know exactly what a number may represent, but there is a catch you need to know about. C++ is strict about order. You must list these tags in the same order they appear in the struct. Here you can't put variables before timeout. The benefit here is clarity, not shuffling the order of variables. Finally, we have the range based for loop with initialization. In older C++, if you try to iterate over a temporary result, like the output of a function, it sometimes got destroyed before the loop even finished. This behavior led to crashes. The new syntax lets you create that variable right inside the loop statement, guaranteeing it stays alive until the loop is done. It prevents the dreaded dangling reference bugs where a temporary is destroyed before you finish iterating over it. It's a small syntax change that can come in handy.